Hey everyone, welcome back to Bolts Tutorials. Today I'm going to talk about the importance of testing your footage. I've been professionally making films for about five years now, and throughout that time, I've often tried to do things on the spot while working in the field. Things I don't really have much experience with or even have never tried before. And more often than not, they don't turn out that well. But with my next short film coming up, I want to make sure that doesn't happen. So last week, Dylan and I took to the streets and we shot one scene of us driving in a car and simulating a car crash. And don't worry, it doesn't really spoil anything for the film. Now, I don't have much experience filming in a car apart from one or two scenes in Passion Never Stops. The reason you do this is because when you're on scene, you don't want to be sitting there not knowing what you're doing or what to expect and just be wasting everybody's time on set. And remember, when you're an indie filmmaker, time is of the essence. These people are usually donating their time. I mean, the more you waste of it, the less respect you're gonna earn. But in regards to our test footage, how did it work out? Well, it worked for the most part. Well, it established what we needed. Um, we didn't have necessarily all the equipment. Um, I don't know if I have behind the scenes footage of this, but we had to put the tripod uh, right on top of me, sitting in the passenger seat just to get Dylan's angle. And then for my angle, we had to put the tripod right in the center of the uh, the dash where the gear stick is. So we're trying to figure out this shot because we can't, because before we had the camera like right here pointing at Dylan, but now we gotta do my angle. And um, I, we can't really do that with the space and me driving. Yeah. The things we do for movies. Oh yeah. Well, this is just a test like we said a million times, but sit still. So it was, uh, it was quite, um, quite, uh, thing to do and I'm not too happy with my angle. I thought it was a bit close-up like almost like a vlogger ask type of thing so um, But it works for the most part uh, the, We had some audio issues so and we were recording in-camera audio when we actually shoot the film I'm gonna get a little uh, clamp for the window to put on so we can get the proper angle Which hopefully will make things a lot better also when we shoot we'll definitely use a bounce board or a reflector because in the footage the sky looks uh, pretty blown out. Um, it's not the worst I've seen, but we had to expose for the faces and the sky kind of looked like everything was overcast even though it was a pretty sunny day. And it's because of this why we shoot test footage. Something we've never done before or don't have a lot of experience with, gotta test it out. So I encourage all of you, if you don't, if you're filmmakers and you don't have a lot of experience shooting a particular sequence or whether it's a car crash, an action scene, Test it out before you shoot the real thing. Otherwise, you'll look like a complete and total moron on the day of filming. But yeah, guys, that's about it. Thanks for watching this episode of Bolt Tutorials. Make sure to follow me on my Twitter, ThomasBolt1. Like the Facebook page, Thunderbolt Films. Subscribe to the Thunderbolt blog slash extras channel. Follow me on Instagram, the Tom Bolt, And make sure to head over to ThunderboltFilms.club for more website exclusive content, including the behind the scenes of this test footage. So thanks, guys, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.